What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, guys, so in this episode right here, we're going to be going after the legendary bird Pokemon from Johto, and that is, uh, uh oh, since we're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, right? Right? Yes. Okay, so first thing is first, I do not think that we actually went in for a uh, for a scanner down in, Se in Seamawville, so that's exactly where we're going to be going right now. We need to go get a scanner. Some kind of scanner. And now, remember, you do need a Pokemon that knows how to dive in order to get to the scanner right here. And actually, we've been through this whole place before, it's just we just got to locate it now. So, let's go right ahead and uh, would you look at that. The Nameless Cavern. Should I or should I not? I... Alright, so we're going to be going straight to see Mauville right here. And, uh, let's see, where in the bloody H is this Sea Mauville? Oh, look at that. Uh, actually, we passed it by. Holy crud. Sea uh, Mauville. Sea Mauville. Where the heck are you, Sea Mauville? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, so we're going to be landing right here. And uh, we're going to be going straight for a uh, scanner right here. So, yeah. Me just talking in my thoughts and all that stuff too right here. So let's go. Let's see. We're gonna need a Pokemon that knows how to surf. So let's go ahead and surf. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're surfing. All right, we're surfing right here. And uh, if you guys remember the last time we came over here, we got the secret treasure and all that stuff. Uh, did a, f a few things. Captured uh, what you call it? That Pokemon. I can't remember what it was. Um, Spirit Tomb and all that stuff. Now, we actually have to go get the scanner right here, and it's hidden around here somewhere. I don't know. If, did I get it or something? I don't know. Still trying to remember. Now, remember, there is a bottom floor to this whole lo location. Like a whole bottom, bottom floor right here. So, we got ourselves our Mud, uh, mud Kip, or not Mud Kip, but our Swampert, Swamp Lord, you know, that guy to help us out right here. And, uh,. Well, let's see. We're going to be looking for that spot right there. And there it is. So we're going to be going down. And I believe the scanner is right around here somewhere. So we're just going to have to press the A button while we're going here. There it is. Yes, we will be picking it up. And look at that. We found ourselves a scanner. Okay, so that is that. Now, if you're playing Opic, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, you're going to get ho if you're playing Pokemon Alpha Zapphire, you're gonna get Lugia, and Lugia is gonna be located in this section right here. Now, what we have to do next is we're gonna have to actually go to, let's see, I think Slateport City? Yes, we're gonna have to go to Slateport City and talk to the big, bo the big boss himself. So let's go right ahead and take care of that situation. Again, we're gonna be capturing Pokemon left and right all over the place because we can and all that crud, so there we go, running around everywhere, just like a kid we, that we are, and we're out. Okay, luckily we can actually just use the Eon Flute right here, and well, there we go. We're flying. We are flying. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. All right, so we're going to get to go to Slateport City. Here we are. We're not that far away. And... Uh, just like that, we're gonna be, uh, bam, sliding. I'm back, baby. Alrighty. So now what you gotta, what you gotta do is you actually have to go to the port right here and talk to the uh, Captain Stern, I believe. So let's go right here. You will notice that you have the scanner. So from there, he's just gonna tell you what to do. So where in the heck is he? There he is. Okay. So talk to him, and he's like, "Oh, that device you have there is a scanner from Sea Marvel." That could make our expeditions really take off. Mm, would you do me a favor and let me take that scanner off your hands? Sure. For a price, though. Okay. Yes, thanks. This will help our research a lot. Take this bill as a token of uh, my appreciation for your generosity. Alrighty, so we got that. We got ourselves a clear bell. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Alpha Zapphire, I believe you get yourself the title bell. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, well, there we go. That bell... And that bell figures in old legends from the Johto region. It's a nice, it's pretty nice to have. Well, it, it is nice to have. And let's see. When I was working on Sea Marvel, I had to, I had a lad working under me who was uh, from those parts, and he gave me that. If I remember rightly, his family passed down to some special dance style, but it was only for the girls. Uh, so as a lad, he came over here looking for work. He always kept the bell on his person, but sometimes when he, uh, when we were up top. Uh, up there at Sea Marvel, the bell would ring. 
really. And it would, uh, it would almost uh, seem to glow. You don't say. It sure was mysterious, that all right? I've held on to it for all these years, but I'd be happy if you could serve. It, it could serve you some use now. No, oh, you don't say. Okay, so he just he kind of gave us the clues right there that you know that's where you you're probably gonna you're probably gonna find the uh, the legendary Pokemon yourself right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fly back to see Mawville. and uh, well, let's go right ahead and do that. So it's not that far away. Let's go right here, and here we are. See Mauville. It's not that far away, it really, is it? Now that you think of it. There you go. See Mauville, and uh, what is next? Okay, so we're gonna have to surf our way over here. But when you touch the floor of Sea Mauville, something, something extraordinary is gonna happen right here. So let's go right ahead, touch the floor. And you keep on walking forward, and what ends up happening is this. The clear bell in your bags seems to be glowing faintly. Hmm, you don't say. Now, again, Omega Ruby, you're going to find them on the top part right here. You're playing Alpha Zapphire, you're going to be on the bottom floor. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here. As you can see, there is going to be a ring looking within it. Not right now. I kind of need to save the game first because, yeah, I don't want to miss out on any of these Pokemon right now. So there it is. We saved the game and let's go right ahead. It's a mysterious ring floating in the air. And what's next? What's next? What does it say? A mystical presence seems to be lurking within it. Would you like to examine it? Sure. Oh, damn. And the music changes to its traditional uh, music. Look at that. Okay, so here it is, guys. Ho-oh, the legendary Pokemon of Johto right here. And, uh, yeah, level 50. Not that tough to actually try and capture. We're going to try and use Thunder Wave because, yes, it's been working for us. It, remember, it is a flying and fire type Pokemon. This guy, yeah, he... He is a tough cookie to actually uh, to, to actually battle right here. So what it's doing right now, it's using the sunny day just to power its uh, stance up right here. Now what we're gonna do in this whole thing is we're gonna switch it out to tank because homeboy here can actually take the tanking. He can actually take the hits plus condition out and hopefully not make this Pokemon faint. So here it is, tank the uh, oh wow it's using a sunny day again. All right, come on tank, use the body slam. There we go, body slam, and it takes a nice amount of HP, but what is this punishment? The heck? Oh, gravy. I thought that, you know, I seriously thought that the punishment was like, a, it was going to give it a, a recoil. And look at that! It's already at red, so we're going to be okay right here, I hope. And luckily for us, we've been using a lot of timer balls, so there's no need for us to just like go into the bag. Just like we did it earlier. Come on, Timer Ball. Help us out. Help us out. Come on. Stay in there. Damn it. Yes, this, uh, this ho oh right here is uh, making it hard for us to capture it. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another Timer Ball. Come on, baby. Be good. Come on, baby Jesus. Come on. Here it is. And, of course, ho oh is just being, you know, ho oh. It's being a ho. And, what the hell? What the hell is he doing? Wait, it's sunny day. Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, that, that, that was a little bit different from uh, the regular sunny days that I've done. So here we go again. Timer ball. Let's get this. Come on. Stay in the ball. One. Damn it! Oh, you suck. Uh oh Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Let's get this. Stay in the ball. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay. Uh-oh, using Sacred Fire. This is its signature attack that really messes up somebody. It also has Sacred Ash with it. If you guys don't know what Sacred Ash is, I believe it's the, the item that revives every Pokemon on your team. And look at that. Using its Sunny Day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue breaking out of this Pokeball right here, which is annoying. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Come on, Timer Ball. Get it. Damn it! Damn you. Uh oh why must you be a ho-ho? So, let's go again. Timer ball, come on. 
Let's get him. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh, come on. You know you want to be my Pokemon. Of course, it's paralyzed, and it's not going to be wasting any of its attack. Now, the thing is, guys, you guys got to catch this guy before it starts losing all its PP. That's actually happened to me before with Groudon back in Pokemon, uh, my original Pokemon Emerald. And, oh, gravy. Using a Fire Blast right there. Okay, let's go. Come on, Timer Ball. Got to stay in that Pokeball, man. Damn it! So this Pokemon is starting to be a little too good for the, 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 the timer ball right here. Should probably throw something else. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Come on. One. Two. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> you suck, man. You suck. I hate you. And look at that. It's using punishment. Still not making my Pokemon faint. So it's got one more. It's got one more. Let's go. And, oh, gravy. Okay. It, it's just, it, yeah, there, he, he's not trying to, he's, he's not trying to, he's not trying to faint, or he's not trying to, like, get in my Pokeball right here. Come on, man. Stay in there. Stay in there. Ah! Oh, you suck. Why are you being a hoe, man? Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Come on, stay in the Pokeball. You know you want to. Ah, you suck. I hate you. Come on, uh oh. And of course, he's gonna be using his uh, fire blast right here, so it's gonna make Tank faint. But it's already done its job right there by paralyzing this Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and switch out to the next one. Let's go ahead and have someone that can actually take all these hits right here. So let's go with Hydra two. And alrighty, okay, alrighty. There's the intimidate. There's not a lot of a uh, not a lot of attack that it can actually use. So let's go with the timer balls. Already we're down to 20 timer balls right here. Holy crud! Okay, here we go. Come on, stay in there. Damn you, freaking ho! -oh. oh god. There we go. Another punishment. Yep, we're taking it. Don't worry. Come on. Stay in the timer ball. Don't be a ho. And oh, you suck. Oh man, you are a ho oh. Of course, he's coming out with a fire blast. Not going to be super effective. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Come on, Timer Ball. Come on, stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, so ho is just, uh. Yeah, just like in Pokemon. In all the Pokemon games that I've ever played for ho, -Oh, I think it's best to actually just use them for freaking time, like, for Master Balls. Oh my god, come on, stay in there. Oh, come on! Uh, and here comes its sacred fire attack. This one looks like it's a mean attack. and it's Oh wow, it's burning my Pokemon. So that is not good. So it's going to be like a double hit right here. And we're down to 16 uh, timer balls. Not to worry, I do have uh, like 50 ultra balls right here too. So there we go, two, three, two, two. Oh, you suck! Oh, you suck. I hate you. Why? Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Timer ball. Let's get this timer ball. And come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Two. Two. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. Uh-oh. You... Uh, you're exactly what your name says it is. You're a hoe. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Ho uh oh, the rainbow Pokemon, fire and flying type Pokemon. 12 feet, 6 uh, whatever inches. I I've been saying it all wrong. Whatever. Uh, let's see, what else? 438 pounds of annoying muscle. And, uh, well, let's see. ho -Oh's feathers glow in seven colors depending on the angle at which uh, they are struck by light. These feathers are said to bring happiness to the bears. This Pokemon is said to live at the foot of a rainbow. Huh, look at that. Well, it's uh, the foot of my rainbow right here, so we caught ourselves Ho-Oh. Look at that. We caught ourselves Ho-Oh. We caught ourselves Ho-Oh. So, that right there is how you capture a ho -Oh. Now, there is a little bit of a something right here. So, let's see. 
Now, once you have, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm looking down uh, this, this guide right here. So if you have Ho-Oh and Lugia on the team, you will be able to, you're, you're going to enable yourself to actually get Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. So that is probably what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Uh, so stay tuned with that. Other than that, guys, uh, I will see you guys next time because, uh, holy crap, that was a, that was a, that, yeah, that, that, that right there was just a, yeah, that was something. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.